To create something that's photorealistic and that's on this scale, 55 feet by you know 54 feet, is pretty challenging. I think the work that I'm typically known for is low poly, which is pixelated, triangular, you know, shapes and colors that make up the image that still look pretty realistic, but have this stylistic, uh, geometric, um, you know, filter to it. But today I'm working on photorealism. I think it's one of the hardest skill sets to have as an artist. This, this thing needs to be exact. And one of the ways that I use to get everything proportionate is to create a grid system and just take each grid, each tile, and just work on each tile one by one. I think public art has gone to a point where there's you know, new technology in creating large scale work. There's uh, durable exterior spray paints that you could use now that come in every single color and makes it easy to blend um, cover a lot of areas um, other than traditional like brush paint and stuff. You know, we literally have the best player in the NBA and for me to paint, you know, life-size image of Giannis, I think it's like, the, it's the coolest project. And so, to you, <laughs> this is life-size Giannis. <laughs> I, pretty much, by painting this on this, on this scale, it just shows, you know, how much love we have for him, you know? We're not gonna give him a little dumpster, like, mural in the alley. We're gonna make sure he's visible and stuff because he made us visible as a city, so. It, it's amazing, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, I appreciate, you know, the support, uh, the show, the box, the support the show to me, the love. Uh, it's amazing, like, playing basketball, you never expect things like that to happen. You know, you just play basketball because you love the game, you enjoy the game. But uh, you know, I feel like once you dedicate yourself to your team and to the, the city, uh, people feel that, you know, and uh, they appreciate it and uh, things like that happen.